There's gotta be something fun going on. Snorefest? Come on. Think, dude. Maybe there's a way I can sell my boredom and make a living off of it. Come on, say something. <laughs> Swim's crying like a little girl. Maybe we should throw him in the river so he can wash the shame off himself. It'll be pretty hard to wash up if he's wearing clothes. Strip him down so he can get real clean. <laughs> Ourselves. I still think we should tie his hands <laughs> up. <laughs> Someone help! You sons of bitches shouldn't hog all the fun! Hell no! I can throw these all day long! to bother you, Miss Kudo. I've gotten you a cold drink. Yes, and... thanks. I was out for a while. Did you see anyone come into my room? No. Are you sure? Tell me the truth. I command you. <gasps> well, I'm sure. Even if someone tried to get in, you're the only one with a key to this room, Miss. I didn't see anyone try. I guess you're right. Thank you. You may leave. As you wish, ma'am. Just like a game of Clue. But instead of a killer, I get to find who sent this letter. How exciting. joke. Without that water, it could have been game over real quick. So, who are you guys anyway? I'd like to ask the same thing, Mr. Mean-looking high school boy. I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I'm guessing you guys got the same weird letter as well? Yes, I did. And would you please stop addressing us as if we're old friends? My name is Asuka Kudo. Don't you forget it. Now then, care to tell us your name, cat girl? Kasukabe you. I'm the same. I see. Nice to meet you, Kasukabe. Now, does your matted hair come with the name, Mean Face? Thanks for that wonderfully antagonistic introduction. The dangerous and unrefined Sakamaki Izayoi at your service. I'm also crude, vicious, and hedonistic, so I'm basically the worst person you've ever met. You should read all the warning labels before copying an attitude. Play with fire and you're gonna get burned, little missy. I'll think about it if you write down all those warning labels in a manual for me. <laughs> all right. I'll write something up later. You better be ready. Man, all these people look like they've got some sore personalities. But then again, that's exactly why they're here. Fine. So they brought us here, whoever they are. So why aren't they here to greet the three of us? No clue. <laughs> Time for the big reveal! All right. And how about we ask the person hiding in the bushes over there? Good eyes. Color me impressed, rude boy. Whatever. I'm just good at hide and seek, that's all. 
guessing you saw them too, cat lady. I didn't see them as much as I smelled them. Oh, you're pretty interesting. Oh, I missed my chance to make my big entrance. Hey, we know you're hiding back there. Just come out already. I guess I have no choice. Y you know, you really shouldn't act so scary when... If you're not coming out on your own, then fine. <laughs> with the outfit. Cosplay? Oh, what? No, it's not! Black Rabbit doesn't cosplay! This is us! Please pick face cards from the 52 
cards you see displayed here before you. But you only get one chance, and each person only gets one card. Can we use any method we want to do so? As long as it doesn't break any rules. Speaking of which, I, Black Rabbit, have the ability of Judge Master. You can't break the rules when I'm around. The rabbit's eyes and ears are connected directly to the little garden central network. And our chips? Are we betting with gifts or what? Since all of you have just come to the little garden, we'll play around without chips this time. But if you insist on betting something, you're always welcome to put your pride on the line. Just what do we get if we win? Let's see. If you win, then I, Black Rabbit, as servant of God, will do anything you ask of me. But only once, so choose wisely. Anything? Are you sure about that? Mm -hmm. uh, but anything sexual is off limits! I was just kidding. So, are we playing? That goes without saying. Mm. Let's do it. Ow. We're in. Game established! What's that? It's a Gias roll. A contract of sorts pertaining to the game. The rules of the game, as well as the ways to win, are written there. Okay, seems simple enough. But before we start, we'd like to take a look at those cards, if you don't mind. Sure, go right ahead. <laughs> okay, let your first game commence. Who's going first? I'll go. I'm feeling pretty lucky today. <laughs> Wonderfully intimidating speech earlier. Sure, no problem. I'll take this one. Uh, uh, hold on. Then I'll take this one. I'll take this one. Wait, wait just a second. Th that wasn't. Chill out. We're not breaking any rules. We chose face cards from the cards on the table, and only one card per person. Am I wrong? Uh, no, you're right, but it's still. The Little Garden Central Net has determined that your method was valid after all. Asuka and you have cleared the game. We did it! But, Izayoi, you still haven't won yet! Oh, come on. Who the hell do you think I am? But, how did you... I remembered them. Huh? I remembered the position of every single card. The card next to this one is the Nine of Diamonds. This is the Two of Clubs, the Jack of Spades. <laughs> You're pretty good. But still, this means the methods we thought of were wasted thanks to that. Hey, you still won, right? Uh... So, Black Rabbit. Uh, yes? I think it's time you made good on our wager from before. Oh, I see that look in your eyes! I said nothing sexual! As fun as that sounds, I'm really not interested. There's only one thing I want to ask of you. What is it? This world of yours. Can I have fun here? Yes! The gift games are heavenly and demonic games in which only blessed humans can participate. Black Rabbit guarantees that Little Garden is the most fun place around. I hope you decide to stay with us. Jean Coon! Riri? Thanks for all your help, guys. Is Sister Black Rabbit back? She's been gone for a while now. Yeah. I know you're going through a lot as leader, but keep it up, Jin. Master Jin! Uh, I brought some new friends! Come and see! Welcome back, Black Rabbit. Are those two women with you the ones? Yes! These three people are the... Uh, what the... Where's Isayoi? He said he was going to check out the edge of the world real quick. He took off in that direction. Why didn't you stop him, Asuka? He told us not to. It's not my problem. Then why didn't you tell Black Rabbit that he'd taken off? He said, don't tell Black Rabbit before he left. You're lying! You've got to be lying! You two just didn't want to bother with it, did you? No. Yeah. Uh... But Black Rabbit, the edge of the world is... I know. Master Jin. 
Please lead these two the rest of the way for me. Meanwhile, Black Rabbit will capture the problem child. You've insulted the aristocrat of the little garden, and for that you will pay. I'll make you regret this to the core of your soul, Lisa Yor. Wow, Little Garden Rabbits can hop around pretty fast. That's because all the rabbits are the servants of the founder of the Little Garden. Come with me, please. I'll show you into the Little Garden. It looked like we were entering a covered area, but I can see the sun. All of the coverings over the little garden are invisible when you see them from the inside. It's just another form of protection. The coverings were set up for the races that cannot be directly exposed to the sunlight. So then, what you're telling us is that some of these people are vampires? Um, yes, that's right. I see. There are quite a variety of races living here. Gods, demons, spirits, animal-human hybrids, and humans. There are a lot of agricultural areas here in the east side, so everyone's quite peaceful here. I'm sure you're still itching to move around since you've just arrived. How about the three of us go over all of the details while having a bite? Okay. 
cat. What? Back up a bit. You mean you can communicate with cats too? Sparrows, cuckoos, bush wobblers. I've even talked to the penguins at my favorite aquarium. I met dolphins once, but they were jerks. Oh, sounds like an incredibly useful blessing. Indeed. You've got a wonderful ability, Kasukabe. I'm jealous. Thank you. You too, Kudo. Please, call me Asuka. Nice to be here with you, Kasukabe. Oh, same. But don't you have the same power, Asuka? Huh? Earlier, you were talking to the birds in the forest. Oh, that, that was different. My power is, well, to be honest. <laughs> well, well. If it isn't the weakest community of the East, Long time no see, half by Still leader of the no-names. Galdo. And who might you be? Forgive me, ladies, I seem to forget my manners. I'm the leader of Forest Garo community, Galdo Gasper. Now, who might you be? something while you're so cheerful? Go ahead! Tell the truth. You've been hiding a massive deal breaker this whole time, haven't you? Uh, Answer me. What exactly is the reason you had to bring me and the others here to Little Garden? Uh, Answer me. What exactly is the reason you had to bring me and the others here to Little Garden? that your community is either really weak or something happened recently that put your team on the decline. I'll take your silence as a yes, Black Rabbit. <sighs> I don't believe I said you could sit here, Galdo Gasper. You're not welcome here. Settle down, Princess. I'm not here to talk to you. I want to talk to these girls. Why exactly? I'll tell you. It's your lucky day. I would like for you, your friends, and Black Rabbit to join the best community there is. Okay, Izuyoi, you've got me. Our community is in a lot of trouble these days. The communities I mentioned to you before aren't all that different from countries in your world. They can be big or very small, and in addition to the usual work, they must declare a formal name and banner. Formal name and banner? So something like a country's flag, then? Yes, many use it to clearly mark their territory. Up until a few years ago, our banner had flown proudly all the way to the ends of the east side. We lived prosperously. No one wanted for anything. However, one day, we were targeted by an enemy which we should have avoided at all costs. And then, in just one night, we were wiped out. In other words, this individual is really only a leader in name. A ghost from the past. But can an organization so large really fall in a single night? For certain inhabitants, it's easy to accomplish. They are the single greatest terror here in the little garden. The Demon Lords. Demons? Yeah, when a Demon Lord challenges someone to a gift game, well, let's just say they can't refuse. <laughs> Jim Russell's community was forced to participate. And once the dust from the gift game had settled, his community was destroyed. The Demon Lord's strength was overwhelming. Our community lost the gift game as swiftly as it had started. We were stripped of our name and banner and became the No Names. The No Names, huh? Yes. As it stands, we no longer have any members that could make up our group's core. The only people we have who can compete are the No Names' current leaders, Master Jin and myself. The other 120 members are all children that are no older than 10. <laughs> Sounds like you guys are screwed. Doesn't it though? Even so, everyone tries their best to survive. The children go to get water from a far off river every day. The only land that isn't infertile and can support crops is the very land they live on. Uh, if the situation is so bad, why not just start over? Take down the organization and make another. We can't do that! 
Why not? Oh, we just can't! Because we want to protect the homes of all of our friends! And someday, we want to get our name and banner back from the Demon Lord and rebuild our community! Do you see now? That's why we have no other choice than to depend on players with great powers like you and the others! I beg you, please help us to achieve that! If he turns us down now, we're going to be... Huh. Trying to revive a community while challenging a demon lord? <laughs> Sounds like a blast. Huh? Don't you hum me. I've decided. I'm gonna help you. Now be a happy bunny. But he's a yoy. Taking back one's flag in honor from a demon lord. <sighs> it's almost romantic in a way. I can't think of a better reason to help you guys out. Expect wonders, Black Rabbit, and soon. <sighs> Thank you so much, Izayoi. I see. So then, you wish for us to join your community instead of Master Jin's? Because his has no benefits to offer us? That's correct. Forest Garo has a distinguished history. We've won every single gift game where our banner was put up as the bet. Now we control this entire area. I think that fact alone makes my point. Comparing our community with Jin's is tantamount to comparing a castle to an outhouse. That said, I think the choice is obvious. Please, join our community, along with Black Rabbit and... No, thank you. Huh? What? We have no interest in joining your community. We'll be sticking with Jin's, thank you. W why Kasakabe, what would you like to do? The only reason I came to Little Garden is to make more friends like Calico. Oh, I see. Then would it be possible for you to consider me candidate number one? <laughs> I'm so happy for you, you. I was beginning to think you'd never find a human friend. <laughs> I must admit I don't understand your logic. For what reason have you refused me? It's simple. I, Asuka Kudo, have left behind my possessions, my family name, and my guaranteed future, all so that I could come to this world. Do you believe that I would be happy entering a privileged environment again? But lady, right. I... <laughs> I am curious. If you'd be so kind as to indulge me, even if you aren't, you'll do it anyway. Now sit down and answer any questions I ask you. <laughs> Master Jin, yes? These gift games where your banner and organization brand name are bet, how often are they held? Unless it's unavoidable, I would say very rarely. Bets like that are basically equivalent to betting your community in its entirety. I thought so. And that's the reason these demon lords are so feared. But you are not a demon lord. So how exactly were you able to pull off so many of these victories? Answer my question. We... We could kidnap the women and children of the enemy's community. Then blackmail them. That way they would have no choice but to participate in our games. How savage. But winning wouldn't guarantee the obedience of the communities. How have you managed to maintain that for so long? We've taken several children and keep them as hostages specifically for that purpose. Huh? I see. So where are those children being kept now? I killed them all. <sighs> they started crying the first day I brought them in. I was so annoyed that I killed them without realizing it. But since it was so easy, I've killed all of the children the same day we bring them in ever since. If anyone knew, it would upset the cohesion of our community. That's why I take the corpses of the children to ensure no evidence is left. Enough! <laughs> Quite impressive. It's not often that I meet someone who matches the definition of scum so perfectly, Mr. Fake Gentleman. <laughs>
we picked a fight with him without thinking about it. We regret nothing. Do you both have rocks in your head? How could you let this happen, Jin? Sorry. I couldn't forgive what he did either. Uh, I, I understand, but still. Well, whatever. We have easy way. He'll beat them, no problem. I won't be playing. <laughs> you heard me. They're the ones who picked a fight with the guy. This is their pie to eat. I can't take a slice for myself. Good boy. Glad you understand. Fine. Just do whatever you want, then. So, where are we going? The game is tomorrow. I was thinking of getting Thousand Eyes to appraise your gifts. Thousand Eyes, huh? That's right. It's a large trade community. They know every nook and cranny of the little garden. If it exists here, chances are they know about it. Hmm. Cherry blossoms? I guess it's spring in this world. It was midsummer where I came from. Really? It was fall where I came from. Hmm. <laughs> That's because I summoned the three of you from completely different versions of your world. Aside from your timelines, there should be differences between your histories and cultures as well. Sounds like something from a comic book. It's referred to as the parallel world intersection theory. It's pretty simple stuff. Uh huh. Hey. Is that the place? Oh, uh, yeah. That's Thousand Eyes. Yes! <laughs> shut and let you test me. Very well. Shall we proceed to the game, then? <sighs> Pay attention. Your opponent should be arriving any second. That's a griffin. Good eye, girl. 
He is the king of all beasts, whether they fly or walk. The mythical beast that represents the gift he gave. And now for your test. You'll need power, wisdom, and courage in order to succeed. The victory conditions are to ride on the griffin's back and to travel once around the lake. Any takers? I'll go, please. Uh, hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Kasukabe. <sighs> oh, that's new. Talking, but can it succeed? I would lose my honor if I were unable to shake a young girl such as you off my back. What will you bet in exchange for my pride, child? I'll bet my life. <gasps> if I fall from you and still live, you can have me for dinner. Will that suffice? This, this is serious, you idiot! Kasukabe, don't do it! <laughs> don't interfere, you two! But I'll be fine. <sighs> of other creatures and make them your own, am I right? Not take. This is proof that we've become friends now. <laughs> Excellent work, friend. I want you to use the gift you received as a reminder that you defeated me. Yes. I will treasure it. You're really something, Katsukabe. That gift of yours, is it something you were born with? No, 
The wood carving that my father gave me has the power. The carving? Right here. I see a circular phylogenetic tree. How could I have you appraise them? What? Appraise these humans? That's completely out of my field, but... Oh, wait. Very well. We'll celebrate your return now. An advance of sorts. Are those gift cards? What's this? A postcard? How lame. I agree. You're lame, you jerks! It has the capability to store your gifts, as well as name all the gifts in your possession. It's an extremely valuable gift in its own right. Really? So I'm guessing mine is a rare case, then. How so? Unknown. The gift card, a fragment of Laplace, can't even read it. <laughs> How interesting. However, I wonder how long you'll be able to keep that smug attitude after you see what the demon lords left behind. This is... the destroyed land of the no-names? Oh, the soil's infertile. Hey, Black Rabbit. How many hundreds of years ago was your gift game with the demon lord? Not long. Only three years ago. Could have fooled me. From the looks of the place, it's as if 200 years has passed. But if you consider the power of a demon lord, it's understandable. Demon. <laughs> Sounds good. Real good. This looks like it'll be even more fun than I thought.
Aldo ordered it, but he's the... Yo! Uh, thugs are predictable in any world. <laughs> what? what the... What's going on out here? Forrest Garo decided to send a welcoming committee. Huh? Uh, what enormous power! A man like that would have no trouble defeating the Water God. Yeah, I guess the rumors were true. He might even beat Galdo. If that's the case, we could all be free. May we make a request of you? Please destroy every last shred of Forrest Garo and that despicable Galdo so we can be rid of him. Don't wanna. <gasps> uh. Please hear us out. We and countless others have suffered greatly due to Galdo Gasper. Just because he works for a demon lord, he does whatever he wants. And since he's taken hostages, we can't do anything to oppose him. But if Galdo were to be taken out... Yeah, the hostages are gone. So he really has no leverage, and there's no need to discuss this. How, how can you be so callous? What, are my words insensitive? Who do you think has been kidnapping all those hostages for Galdo in the first place? It's these guys. <sighs> so, all the hostages are... Yes. Galdo admitted to killing every one of them. The same day they were captured. My god. <sighs> we failed them all! What the hell have we been doing all this for? Huh. I understand how you feel. Uh? You despise Galdo. You despise the demon lord responsible for all this. But don't worry. My buddy Jin here will take revenge on that jerk. Huh? In fact, he's pledged to put every demon lord into the dirt. The great Jin Russell. Huh? <laughs> uh. Uh. What? A lady's not a lady if she only has one outfit. You can try on as many as you like. They'll be yours to keep. These make you a lady? No! Oh, no way! Throw those! They don't belong to Black Rabbit! That pervert Shiro Yasha forced them on me! What's up with all the freaky costumes? Hold on. <laughs> it's wonderful! easy to move around in. It looks great on you. Shirayasha gave me that for when I referee gift games. It's one of the most tasteful ones, for sure. There's an aura of protection added to it as well. I couldn't think of a better outfit for you to wear to tomorrow's game. I think you're right. Uh, don't worry. I'll have it altered to your size by tomorrow. Uh, thanks a bust, Bunch. <sighs> what was that about? You made it sound like... Down with the demon lords and everyone who associates with them. If anyone's got a problem with that, they can talk with Jen Russell. Pretty righteous tagline, don't you think? Uh, don't joke around here. If people get wind of this announcement, other demon lords might start watching us more closely. Let them. Sounds perfect to me. What do you think for a minute here? We need to make sure we win the gift games, as well as increase our power and resources quickly. With so many talented individuals on our side, we could make it through any game there is. But you... you just... You just don't get it, do you, Runt? Uh, Runt, huh? Look, I understand, all right? We win, we grow. But what's important is how we end up beating the Demon Lords. You... yeah, but... We don't have a name or flag. In fact, we don't have a single thing that represents our organization. <clears throat> Our community doesn't have a sigil they can back. Do you know how big a disadvantage that is? And now, you need to surpass your past leaders while you carry the burden of that disadvantage. Uh, surpass my past leaders? <laughs> and, since we don't have a flag or sigil, we'll just have to use a name to get everybody's attention. And the name we'll use is Jen Russell. But why my name? So you'll go from being a leader to the leader of the community that declared they take down the Demon Lords. If you win the game tomorrow, we'll have marketed ourselves well, and the Demon Lords won't have a monopoly on the people's attention. <laughs> and anyone who wants a piece of the action will join us. Right now, what we lack is people power, people with backbone. At bare minimum, people a fraction as good as I am. If we can get that, we'll at least have people we can count on more than the guys who left your community. What do you think? They're not all gone. Huh? 
One of them is currently owned by a certain high-ranking official, working for Thousand Eyes. They're owned? Are we talking slavery? That's right. I heard they'll be put up as a prize in a gift game that will be held soon. They were one of us. Now they're being treated as property, even though they used to be considered a demon lord. An ex-demon lord, huh? Mm-hmm. What's the matter? Why oh. were the lights off? Huh? Oh, we were just... Were you two fighting about something? Fighting? We were just having some bro talk, man-to-man -man stuff. Right, runt? Huh? Oh, yeah, right. Bro talk? You have to win the game tomorrow, Jen. If you do, then I promise I'll get your friend back for you. Agreed? That enough incentive for you? Incentive? Yeah, that works for me. Just remember, if you lose, I'm leaving the community. Right. Wait, what? Kasukabe and Rich Girl's gifts can't be used on the playing field. We were assured to win, and now the odds are even. You should have worked out the rules ahead of time, isn't that right, Runt? Oh, well. We can argue procedure later. Right now, we should be focusing on the game. The weapons will be chosen for us? That's right. Soon, I imagine. Then there shouldn't be a problem. Personally, I'd welcome a little handicap when fighting scum like Galdo. But he's... It'll be fine. I'm going in, too. If we can't win this fight, my plan won't get off the ground. That's a fact. We're not changing things now. <laughs> well, let's get going. There's no one nearby. Oh, so you're friends with dogs as well? Yes, about 20 of them. If there are any hints out there, they're well hidden. And I don't see any weapons that stand out either. <sighs> How about we change our strategy, then? We'll have Kasukabe use her abilities to locate Galdo. I've then we'll... already found him, huh? Hmm? So this jungle wasn't to catch us in an ambush? Then why even have it? Were they just trying to stall us? I think you'll have to ask him yourself. I don't ask people like him. into a tiger. That makes sense. Wait! No, it doesn't! Would we be penalized for taking a look? We could say you're a judge master and I'm your assistant. My beautiful rabbit ears can pick up the gist of what's going on inside of the playing field at all times. So, unless the original agreement stated that we could watch the game, we can't enter. Black Rabbit, why are you even here? You can at least say it under your breath, jerk! Black Rabbit has feelings, you know! Vampire 
pirate nature. I knew it was her. Hey, that's... There it is! That crossword must be our designated weapon! dead, and Forrest Garo is disbanded. Please, you... wake up! Master Chen! <laughs> this way, Black Rabbit, hurry! Miss you, don't give up. I'll take her to the community studio immediately. The 
there are people there with a gift of healing that can help her. In the end, I was useless. I couldn't help at all. Sure, but you still won the game. And if you hadn't stayed with her, Kasukabe wouldn't be here, right? Yeah, but... But nothing. If you're having second thoughts about the plan from yesterday, I can still call it off. No, I'll do it. If my name is out there where everyone can see it, if the worst happens, I can still serve as a shield to protect the others. All right. <clears throat> Listen up! Jin Russell will now return the pride that was wrongfully taken from you by Forrest Garo. What's the matter? Are you deaf? This is Jin Russell, the man who single-handedly defeated Galdo Gasper, and he's sworn to return your names and flags to you. Must have been some bro talk you had. Seems like you've got a pretty interesting plan in the works here. Really? Is that what you think? I have something to ask all of you. As you are aware, our community is the No Names, and we don't have a name or flag of our own. With that in mind, I want you to remember this moment. More importantly, you should remember Jen Russell and the vow of his No Names to take down the Demon Lords. Uh, hello? I am Jen Russell, and I hope for your support in my goal. Good day, and welcome. Is Shiro Yasha in? How's Kasukabe doing? It'll take a little bit more time for her to recover, but she should be just fine. <sighs> so, Isayoi! Huh? Master Jin told me the great news! It's so noble of you to participate in the gift game so you can return our friend to us! I know. I promise, so that's what I'll do. So, tell me about her. This former demon lord of yours. She's only the most wonderful person ever! Her name is Letitia. She has a brilliant mind. She taught me a lot. I don't think there's ever been a demon lord as respected as her. However, when our community was ruined, the other lords took her away. And ever since then... They've been offering her up as a prize in game after game, is that right? Uh-huh. But now, we'll finally be able to win her back! I'm sure you'll win the game for us, Isayoi! She's as good as home now! Sure, but wouldn't it be better if you participated yourself instead of me? I'm afraid that's not possible. The rabbits have the authority to judge and referee the games. If I wanted to participate in them myself, I'd have to meet a number of requirements first. Hmm. I should have figured as much. How about some tea? Come on out. You've been listening to us for quite a while. Don't you have better things to do? Well, this is a surprise. to sense my presence. Yeah, but I sure didn't expect such a cute girl to be the one hiding out there. <laughs> you helped Galdo, right? What do you want with me? I don't have time to answer you. I can only do what I must.
Get in my way, Black Rabbit. You don't understand. That girl is Letitia, the one you said you'd get back for us. Say what? I see. So you're the former demon lord. That's right. Letitia is a rare, pure-blooded vampire that we call a Knight of the Little Garden. She deserves our hospitality. Stop it, Black Rabbit. I am currently owned by another master. Nothing more than an object. That's not true, and you know it! She's right. It's good to see you again. I'm sorry. I didn't know how I could face you all again. You're our friend. Could I ask you something? If you're supposed to be their friend, why did you help Galdo fight against them? My friend was injured because of you. I have the right to know the reason you did it. I wanted to test just how strong the three of you were. I needed to know whether or not I could entrust this community to you. I hope that your wounded friend is doing well. However, I feel your gifts are all quite unpolished. You can't handle the responsibility. <laughs> The reason I came out to this gate was so I could convince Black Rabbit and Master Jin to disband the community for good. Uh, it's quite difficult to rebuild a community from being unnamed. I couldn't force Jin to go through anymore. But before I could tell them, I heard a rumor that all of you had been summoned to our world. And that's the reason you wanted to see how strong we were. And if we didn't have a chance, you'd deal with it afterwards. Correct. But now that you've put Jin's name out there so boldly, we can't just shut everything down. Okay, but wouldn't all that change if you just came back to the no-names? She has a point! If we win the next gift game, you can return to the community and lead us! Sorry, but... What do you mean you've cancelled Letitia's gift game? Well, we managed to find a good buyer. Have you no shame? What's the problem? I just came as a fellow colleague under Thousand Eyes to inform you of what's happening. Excuse me. Ha! You're spoon-feeding us, and it's crack. I thought the man who inherited a historic community like Perseus had more honor. This doesn't just involve you and your cohorts. This involves all of Thousand Eyes and would be a disgrace to the twin goddesses on our flag. I'm well aware of that. However, you bought something without permission. Something that belonged to me all the way to the seven-digit gates. I'd say we're even here. I had no intention of hiding that fact from you, Laius. But I'm afraid Letitia is no longer with us. This is quite a predicament. If you can't complete your deal, you can't cancel the game, or... I'm fully aware of the conditions regarding ownership, thank you. Also, I'm willing to do as I see fit to ensure something like this doesn't happen again. You son of a bitch. You're planning on attacking the no-names. That's quite the accusation. I prefer to call it retribution. No one's going to be upset if a no-name community suddenly winks out of existence. <coughs> My goodness, I apologize. My grip isn't what it used to be. All right, you brat. I've had it. Oh, well now, did that make you angry? Oh, man, if the Demon Lord of the White Knight really got upset, that would be the end of me. But, before I died, I'm certain I could at least take out this little shop of yours. <laughs> no way! The gift game was cancelled? But we've been waiting for this chance to free you. Couldn't we just hide her here for the time being? That would be impossible. My owner is already aware that I came out here tonight. Be sure of it. If we don't handle this properly, every community under Thousand Eyes will become your enemy. <sighs> I get it now. You said you had no time because you knew this was your last chance to come here, right? In that case, let's hurry up and finish things. You want to see my strength? So test it already. <clears throat> simple. We just throw the lances at each other. The person who gets hit loses. Sounds good to me. Simple is best, after all. If you don't mind, I'll go first.
Cyrus. You had such a great gift, but now all your divinity is gone. So the only gift she has left is being a vampire? No wonder she couldn't hit very hard. But why? How did this happen to you? <laughs> the hell is that? The power of the Gorgon! Asuka, don't let it hit you!
I don't wanna. What did you say? You heard me, Jumbo Ears. A duel's out of the question, sorry. Letitia was under your control when she went on her rampage on the Far East Side. And after she was captured, members of Perseus proceeded to verbally insult us. You're as foolish as you are perverted if you think sorry will cut it. Do you have any proof of this claim? Free Letitia from her petrification and she'll verify every word of it. I like her that way. Runaways are a burden. She'll stay like that until she's shipped. Besides, anything she says might have been planned in advance. You know, to help out her former compatriots. <sighs> or perhaps it's something else entirely. After all, how would I know she came to you of her own volition? I mean, it's entirely possible that you stole her, right? No! There's nothing to support that! There, see? We're both subject to the burden of proof. Of course, if an investigation was called, I wonder who would be more at risk. <sighs> In any event, I think I'll turn in now. I need to inspect my cute vampire before she's shipped. I don't like girls who don't know how to be friendly. Especially her. I mean, come on, she's got the body of a child. <laughs> but hey, some people are into that stuff. To them, our immortal friend is one of a kind. Personally, I think the most imaginative way to keep her locked up would be to use the sun as prison bars, an immortal toy at beck and call. Pretty hot, if you ask me. How are you so despicable? Don't get me wrong, my heart breaks for the little vam tramp. Truly. After all, she gave up her divinity, a part of her soul, just so she could run away and see you no worries. <laughs> Here's an idea, Bunny. How about you and I trade? Uh, I'll give the vampire back to the no-names. Uh, In exchange for her, you'll become my vassal for the rest of your life. Uh, no one's laughing at your jokes, slimeball! <laughs> Come on, Black Rabbit, we're leaving! Black Rabbit? <laughs> You're only fulfilling your duty, Black Rabbit. It's natural for you to burn in the fires of purgatory for your friends, right? Oh, what's wrong? Rabbits like duty and compassion and all that stuff. Now, shall I draw a contract? I've heard enough! <laughs> now prostrate yourself and apologize to me! Hey, bitch! Yeah, you! Do you take me for some low-gifted buffoon? You just declared war! <laughs> Side, bunny. <laughs> I'm looking forward to your response. So that tool is the leader of Perseus? They don't exactly live up to the name. They were a proper community once, with a history as proud as it was long. They even regularly hosted the most legendary gift game anyone in the little garden had seen. But under that man's rule, it's become a glorified slave auction. I won't allow this, Black Rabbit. I can't let you leave here. The thought of that wretch putting a collar in you makes me sick. A community's members are important to it. Letitia cast away her gift, chipping away at her soul so she could come running to us. If I ever hope to repay her, I must go. There's no point in this. Are you saying that making sacrifices for a friend are pointless? you have left? There is one way. 
Are you aware of the legend where the hero Perseus slayed a mighty monster known as the Gorgon? Kind of. They're currently allowing any and all players from the lower levels to participate in a gift game that matches the legendary battle. If we win that game, would that be enough to free Letitia? Unfortunately, we would have to win two different gift games for that to happen. They would be incredibly difficult, and it would take years to complete both. Knock, knock! Uh -huh. Isajoy, where were you? You better not have been chasing tail, Mr. Deserter. Poor door. It was unlocked, you know. Oh, I was just getting a little hint from our friend Shiroyasha. Brought these for you. What are these? Watermelon? It does look like them. <laughs> Man, that black rabbit is something else. She would be my ideal girl. All it would take is a few chains and a lot of squealing. Right. Excuse me. Stop right there. Down, boy. Wow, this is a surprise. You already miss me that much, huh? <laughs> hmm. In the name of the no names, I hereby challenge you to a duel. Huh? In that case, run along, bunny. You're wasting my time. But you haven't seen my orbs. Oh, no, no way. Those are gifts. They grant the authority to challenge a legend. Does this mean that no names defeated the Kraken and the Grye? That's right. It was no trouble at all. Challenging us is no small feat. If you defeat us in our challenges, you will find your... I'm sure your speech is great, but I don't have time to listen. Just come at me, bro. Izayoi wasn't really impressed. He said the snake, I mean the water god, put up a harder fight than the legends did. <laughs> Whatever. Fine, I'll take you on. I'll put that fine rabbit body through my favorite regimen. By the time I'm done, you'll beg to lick my boots. So if we can find Laius in his little hiding place and smack him around, we win? Basically. But if we're spotted, we lose our right to challenge him. So we're pretty much playing hide-and-seek assassin style. It means they want us to handle him like in the legend. We have to strike him down while he's sleeping. Unfortunately, I'm sure it won't be as easy as it sounds. Not to mention... There are a lot of strong-looking guys around. They've got a gift of invisibility, so it'll be hard to hide from them. I hate to say this, but we might be at a huge disadvantage. Yeah, and that isn't even the worst of it. The most dangerous obstacle will be whatever gift Leia's possesses. If Black Rabbit knows that shapeless bastard like she thinks she does, then his gift will be... The former demon lord he's made his slave. Yes, the former demon lord he's... Ah! Huh? Isuyoi, how did you know? You want to know? Look there. <gasps> the stars? Isn't that the Perseus constellation? Don't take this the wrong way, but are you actually a genius beneath that tough guy act? Wouldn't you like to know? All right, there will be time to talk about this later. Like to fight me? 
Idiot! You've already lost, remember? Now that we've seen you, you can't challenge Lord Leia. Oh, I'm well aware of that fact. Trust me. If we're gonna win, we need to divide everyone into three roles. First, we need someone to defeat the Game Master with the Runt here. The Black Rabbit can only serve as the referee, so I'd like you to handle that. I know Jim will be in good hands if you're there. Next, we'll need someone who can detect and take out the invisible guards. <laughs> Finally, someone needs to be bait and forfeit their right to challenge Laius. <sighs> Why not? After all, I got to have all the fun in the last game. Try to rush, Runt. But I wait right here. <sighs> right there. No! Oh! I'm pretty sure this is the gift that grants invisibility. It's a replica of Hades' helmet. I knew that having a gift of invisibility would be essential to winning this game. If we had time, I'd secure a couple more of these babies for the two of you. But that would happen in a perfect world, and this isn't one. Don't worry, I don't need one. I know. I'm impressed, you. You and the rich girl made this whole thing possible. I couldn't have pulled this thing off solo. Thanks for your help. Thanks is nice. But I intend for you to make it up to me. <laughs> okay, Runt. Time for you to hide. Don't get found, no matter what. Don't worry, I won't. The no name girl! Capture her! We can use her as bait! Get out of my way! All right, Kasukabe. All clear? I don't sense anything, and that really bothers me. Kasukabe! Show yourself! <coughs> Kasukabe couldn't detect them even with her five senses. Could it be the real lady's helmet? Kasukabe, we're withdrawing for now! She's already wounded, ass! I can't even sense his presence. Maybe I should hit all the places he might be hard. I see. Ultrasonic waves. In French! Have to admit, you almost had us for a sec. Uh, I never imagined you be able to take on our gifts. Well done. You rock, you. No. My friends helped me. <laughs> Leave this to me. Thanks. Hey, Runt! Yeah? Ugh. Let's go. It's time to end this thing. Everyone, please be careful and come back safe.
<laughs> oh, Master Jin and Isayoi. Perfect! This is life and death, and you're acting like a child! Try that again, and I'll treat those happy Come on, like are you kidding me? <laughs> they couldn't even stop the no names? Looks like I have to get rid of my guards then. Maybe they'll join your friend here. Look, Letitia! We're not too late. I suppose I should welcome you to the top floor of my playing field. Your opponent is me, the Game Master. You know, that might be my first time to ever say that. Of course, I won't be soiling my hands by fighting no-name garbage. I'm the leader of Perseus. I don't have to fight you if I don't want to. Isn't that right, Mr. No-Named Runt? Mm. Someone's fighting in his place? But who? <gasps> he can't mean... Yeah, he's using the big guns right off the bat. Our former demon lord. There's a star in the Perseus constellation known as the Demon Star. Its true name is Algo the Demon. Ha, <laughs> huh, 
Is that all you got then? You call yourself a demon lord? But how? What gift do you have? Demon Lord, looks like we won your little challenge. You know what happens to your flag now, right? My flag? You deceptive snake! You weren't after her at all! We can get her back whenever we want. I think I'll bet the flag I just won and have our next little game. This time, I think I'll take the Perseus name itself. <gasps> no, you can't! <sighs> that way, I'll shatter the entire Perseus community in one fell swoop. I'll destroy it all, so that you'll never be able to operate again for eternity. No, wait a second. Hold on, please! I think you need to learn what happens when you try to go against mere no-name trash. <sighs> but if that bet won't do, <sighs> come at me with your life on the line. And die while you entertain me. Everyone something for rescuing me. If being your house. 
housemaid will satisfy my debt, then I'm more than happy to do so. I'll admit, I've always wanted a blonde helper at my side. Welcome home, Leticia. Thanks a lot. Oh, wait. I suppose I should be more formal with my words now that I'm working for you. Silly. Just do whatever you're comfortable with. I see. No, I see mistress? No, no, I see miss rolls off the tongue. Love the night of little garden. Everyone looks like they're having fun. Still, I don't understand why we had our victory party out here. Mm, I wondered the same thing. Knowing Black Rabbit, she probably wanted to give everyone a nice surprise party. Huh? What's going on? Now the constellation of their flag is being removed from the stars forever. Enjoy them and wish on them for anything you desire. And let's make this the best day of our lives. <laughs> even the constellations are part of the politics? So even the distant stars are an elaborate device that make life in the little garden more interesting. Sure, I guess. <laughs> Did you like the surprise? Oh, yeah. I thought I got to see a lot of crazy cool things today. But none of them compared to this show. Thanks to you, I now have a new goal. What goal would that be? I want our flag to be in the stars. A, a constellation? What do you think? It sounds fun, right? Fun? I think it sounds romantic! <laughs> If he'll just accept the GHQ's plan to dissolve the financial group, it will all be fine. I'll have some cold refreshment for you in a moment. Thank you. A world in which no one can disobey me. Everything is so boring. It's pathetic. That's why it's worth it to spread my wings. To fly away from this house and throw everything away. Huh? to keep up with me, Runt. Guess it shows he's trying to be a leader. At least he's quiet. <laughs> Hello, root boy. Oh, it's the rich girl. Good night. Oh, no, you don't! someone doing a shining wizard first thing in the morning. Stop kidding around! This is urgent! Celebrate the rise of the fire dragon? There will be a Northside Arts and Crafts display along with in-depth discussions on the items. In addition, event organizers may hold their own gift games. The venerated floor master will have the honor of hosting the main event. For real? Hot damn! Sounds like a blasty blast to me! What are we doing sitting here? Thought you'd approve. Where'd you get this from? It seems that Black Rabbit was keeping it a secret. 
secret from us. If Kasakabe hadn't found it, we'd never have known. I just happened to find it. Oh, keeping secrets, huh? Uh, wait, you can't. Do you know how far the north side border wall is from here? Not to mention how much it'll cost. Think our fellow community members would keep such a fun event hidden from us? Sniffle. And we've been trying so hard to help them out, I can't believe they'd repay us this way. Sniffle. If you ask me, I think we should teach Black Rabbit and the others a lesson in appreciation. Sniffle. <laughs> you know, I can hear you. Dear Black Rabbit, we're going to participate in the celebration for the rise of the fire dragon being held on the northern wall. As punishment for keeping this festival a secret from us, if you cannot catch us sometime before the day ends, all three of us will leave the community. Better start looking. Daylight is burning. <laughs> Those kids are going to travel to the north side. We don't get to travel much, so we should make the most of it while we do. I agree, as do I. So, got any suggestions on what we should do first? Oh, mighty runt. No, and I don't really plan to. You three really don't know how far it is to the northern border wall, do you? The little garden has a surface area similar to that of a star. It's simple to travel if you use the astral gates, but we don't have the money for that. We'd be going on foot. Surface area similar to a star? How much is that? I guess it's roughly the same size as the sun, so... 13,000 times the size of Earth? 13,000?! So exactly how far is the northern border wall from here, Master Jin? Well, I can't be exact, but I suppose I can give you an estimate. 980,000 kilometers? Wow! I told you it was far. Now do you get why we'd never make it? How about we call it a day and head home? Yeah, that sounds like it's the only thing we can do. Do you honestly think we can head back after leaving Black Rabbit that letter? Hell no! Thousand Eyes sent us the letter in the first place, so they're gonna take care of our travel situation, damn it all! Yeah, damn it all. <sighs> they weren't in the cafeteria. They're not in the plaza or bath either. I'm sure they did as they said they would and went for the northern border, and I don't think they're alone. No one has seen Jenna Riri since the others left. Well, none of the money in the safe has been touched, so that means they don't have the means to use the astral gate. We all know who should go after them. Given how fast you are, you might be able to catch them. And even if they made it through, since you're an aristocrat of the little garden, it wouldn't cost you anything to get through yourself. I'll bring them back. Keep our home safe while I'm gone, okay? Okay, okay Black, Black Rabbit! Rabbit! All right, you little devil children. If you think Black Rabbit is gonna take this crap from you again, you're sorely mistaken! <laughs> Basically, we want you to take us to the north side. Waltzing in here and making demands isn't exactly polite, kid. Well, have a seat. Since you were invited to the event, I have given some thought to the matter. Well, that makes things simpler. There is, however, one thing I'd like to ask. Rumors are like candy here, and the sweetest ones involve you three taking on the demon lords. Is it true? You can thank Isayoi for that one. And do the higher-ups of your community share the boys' feelings? We do. <laughs> then the Eastern Floor Master has a request for you. It seems he's in the market for someone who can take out the Demon Lords. Are you interested, Master Jin? Of course. We would gladly accept the job. On that subject, how much do you know about the Floor Masters exactly? I hadn't heard of them before today. Me neither. Not as much as I'd like to. We Floor Masters control a layer of the Little Garden. You can think of us as public servants. Each of us has sworn to protect the peace so that lower-end communities can prosper. We are, therefore, entrusted with the duty of leading the charge against any demon lord to appear, as they greatly disrupt said peace. In exchange for the dedication of accepting these responsibilities, we are granted certain privileges. This joint festival is taking place because one of the northern floor masters, the head of the Salamandra, is about to shift power to its project. Salamandra? You know them? Our community had close relations with theirs when our last leader was still around. Wow, I didn't realize the time had come for their leader to step down. But do you know who was chosen as successor? The leader is the daughter, Sandora. She's assumed the name Fire Dragon for her new role. It's Sandora. 
Wait, that can't be right. Sandora is only 11 years old. So what? You're 11 too, and you're our leader. Of course, you're right, but still. So that's why it's the rise of the fire dragon. Indeed. This festival will also serve as a public announcement, as Sandora will be hosting the main event. But her young age sparked political concern, and since I am the Eastern Master, I was asked to serve as a joint toast. It's certainly an interesting story. Since you said we, I take it that means there are other floor masters, yes? Would it be more proper to ask one of them? Well, I suppose so, but... Some people are uncomfortable with a child holding that much power. That it? Something like that. That's sad. Well, there are actually a lot of reasons for it. If you're about as... to tell another story, will it take long? Mm. Not really. It would barely take an hour, if I'm not interrupted, of course. <laughs> Shiryasha, take us to the north side right now! What about our business? Can I assume you've accepted my request, then? Fine, just get moving. We can deal as we go, right? Besides, it'll be more fun that way. I see. As you wish. I'll go along with that for now. All right, we're at the north side. Huh? huh? Crazy. North looks like it has a completely different culture from the East. Let's go down there. I want to see the glass promenade first. Please, Shiro Yasha? I don't mind. We'll finish talking after. Did you think you escaped me? <laughs> Fun's over, problem children. Black Rabbit's taking you home. Time to go. <laughs> you, my dear. If you try to run, I promise you'll regret it forever. Hey, that was on purpose! I don't know what got your tail in a bunch, but you should flip it soon! Shut up and watch you for me! And you better be here when Black Rabbit brings the other problem children back! Sure thing. Good luck! We should move soon. I never imagined she'd catch up with us so quickly. Even if it was a joke, it was still more than enough to make Black Rabbit see red. She was almost scary. I'm sure there's scarier things than her around here. Would you care to escort me, sire? You sure? Last I heard, I was far too unrefined for a lady of your stature. The first rule of being a gentleman is to learn not to sweat the small stuff. Then I was a gentleman at birth. Makes sense. She's fun to provoke. But don't you think saying you'd leave the group was taking it a little overboard? Yeah, maybe. It was still fun while it lasted. <laughs> you know what? While I'm watching you, there's a gift game I'd like you to enter. You want me? It's called The Duel of the Creators. Catchy title, right? As it implies, only players with a creation-type gift can enter. Okay, you have my attention. In order to endure the harsh conditions in the North, creation-type gifts that can be used continuously are sought after. Like the genome tree you received from your father, its core strengths lie in the arts and in engineering. So much so that I'm willing to buy it from you. Just name your price. I won't sell it. <laughs> no surprise there. While the deadline for the exhibition has already passed by, I imagine you'll be able to win a contest of strength. The gift within the wood carving would practically ensure that much. On an unrelated matter, as a joint host, I'd like your help in making the festival more exciting. How about it? The winner of the contest will receive a powerful gift from yours, truly. Really. Hey, Shiroyasha. What is it? Could I make amends to Black Rabbit if I won that gift for her? Definitely. But if you win, you may not want to give it up. Exhibit by the Salamandra Community. Title, a spirit-made tektite carving of our beloved first leader, Lord Seikai Ryuyu. It's beautiful, whatever it is. Yeah, when they say spirit-made, I'm guessing they mean that artificial tektite was used as a base. Is tektite like clay? It's a naturally formed glass. 
a rare rock that forms due to the impact energy and heat of a meteorite hitting a planet. You act like a delinquent, but you're really rather smart, aren't you? No, not really. I'm just good at trivia. Look, look! There's a walking candle stand and a floating lantern. I wonder if there's a pumpkin monster. I've heard all about this Halloween. Hold up, pumpkin monster? You're talking about a jack-o'-lantern, right? How do you not know about Halloween? Unless, let me guess, in your world, the war just ended not long ago. Yes, and you're from the not-so-distant future that I was heading to. I'm sure it would have been as boring as my present was. Since I was born with the ability to control people around me, I was essentially kept isolated at the boarding school I was attending. I see. But ever since I came to the little garden, I've been happy. I've been able to have so many wonderful experiences. So, Miss Rich Girl, did you know that Halloween was originally a harvest festival? Huh? I only bring it up because behind the no names, there's a great area that used to be farmed a lot. And if we were able to restore the land there, I think it helped the community out big time. What do you think? I agree. It sounds good. And once we're done, we'll grow whatever we can. And when harvest time rolls around, we'll throw a Halloween festival of our very own. How's that sound to you? Wonderful. As a matter of fact, how about we use the name Halloween to register the first gift game we host? If we're going to stay here in the little garden, we should experience what it's like to host ourselves. Yes, yes! That's a wonderful idea! Not only would it help out the community, but it sounds like it would be lots of fun! But first, we'd need to... Make sure the farmland is fertile for planting. Of course! Then we could... We'll need the two of you to host me. So when I try to take you back home, you'll be good little children and nothing up a fight, now will you? Screw that!
my speed equals hers. And I'm told her ears are connected with the little garden central system. And if they aren't just for show, I'm sure she's got excellent hearing. In that case, the best chance for me to win this thing is to keep her locked in my sights. Generous. 
I was willing to brunt the blame since I requested your presence here in the first place. Consider it an advance on your pay for this job. <laughs> expecting a cliched battle over the succession from Mr. Chinhorns over there. Chinhorns? <laughs> You're the ones who accepted the job without listening to the details. Therefore, it ain't my problem. You got us there. All right. What is it you'd like us to do, then? Are you even sure this prophecy is going to come true? There's no doubt about it. The prophecy was delivered by the demon of Lapla. You mean where all the prophecies are said to originate? There is nothing false about the demon lord attack written here. But, given its author, I'm sure you've figured out who's sending the Demon Lord to crash your party. I'm sure that you're mocking us, Sherry Asha. You claim to know the assailant, yet seem reluctant to share that knowledge. Calm down! So Thousand Eyes knows who will be responsible for what's to come, but they won't release the name. That tells me that it's someone so close to Thousand Eyes that it could hurt them if word got out. Are you saying there's another floor master that's conspiring with the Demon Lord? <gasps> We don't know for sure. However, it is true that the other floor masters were exceedingly unhelpful regarding Sandora's festival. <sighs> and if the Demon Lord attack has something to do with that, this could be bad. You act like this is a really rare thing. Huh? Do you not realize how terrible this really is? The floor masters swear to protect the peace and shield the lower end communities. That's how it's been forever. Now you realize they're just normal people with the capacity to think. It would take a true optimist to think they wouldn't scheme. And that is exactly why we, as fellow floor masters, must bring this person to justice. For now, we must deal with the Demon Lord and the prophecy. Jin, I ask for you and the others to help us beat the Demon Lord in the game. 
I understand. We, the No Names, pledge ourselves to assist you. <laughs> this will help protect the peace within the little garden. I hereby declare that the culprit will face appropriate punishment. Salamandra declares the same. Jin, you can do it. We're counting on you. Mm. There's no need to get worked up over it. For I, Shiryasha, the strongest floor master, will face this demon lord myself. You can hold down the fort with Sandora until the real action starts. Do you have a problem with that, my boy? Nah. This is a good chance to see just how strong these demon lords are. That said, you wouldn't really have a problem if someone just happened to take out the demon lord before you can, would you? Very well. You go have your fun. There are so many people here. I wonder how many communities are participating in this event. Pretty! Wow! It's a pretty amazing piece, isn't it? Let's see. Created by the Will of the Wisp community. Looks like the pieces are displayed differently depending on whether a group has a flag or not. We want to be great hosts, then we really need to have a flag. Getting it back from the Demon Lord should be our highest goal. Asuka? I was just thinking. Shall we go? Look at that! It's big! What community made this behemoth? I 
you may have this form, but I am a former demon lord and pure-blooded vampire. I could face millions of those rats without breaking a sweat. It's a waste of my talents. Still, I... should have been there. I'd expect no less from a Thousand Eyes Hot Spring. I was just wounded, and there's no sign of that after simply bathing. What an incredible day. I could run around freely and look at whatever I wanted to see. But I still... <laughs> I still don't understand why my gift didn't work on those rats. Sure, Laius was immune, but that was... Hey, bitch! Yeah, you! Do you take me for some low gifted buffoon? I find it hard to accept that my level of power would be lower than that of simple rodents. That being the case, I can only think of one other reason. All of them were under the control of someone stronger than me. Asuka? My gift is harder to use than I ever thought. Its effectiveness is limited by its target's strength. And it's even worse for the gift that controls other gifts that I desire. I will never be able to run around and fight like Izayoi and Kasakabe, even if I were to control a gift with powers as strong as theirs. I wonder if I made the wrong choice. I do not wish to become a witch that controls others. There is no merit in warping someone's heart so far that they consent to my will alone. The gift that controls other gifts. I will make it mine! Tomorrow, I'll be investing in you if you think you're up to refing a special gift game at the festival. 
evil. I guess I should have expected as much. Thanks to the nuisance you two caused, the news that a moon rabbit has come to the lower level spread like wildfire. So now you're going to have to make an appearance. Of course you'll be compensated for the work. I'm your bunny. Black Rabbit will chair and referee the Fire Dragon Festival gift games like her life depended on it. I know you will. Now then, your uniform for tomorrow will be an erotic see-through bustier and skirt. I won't wear it. Will too. I will murder you. If you don't back it off, I won't help you. Oh. All right. Shiroyasha, who's my opponent for the finals tomorrow? Sorry, but I can only tell you the name of the community involved. There are two other communities participating in the finals other than Salamandra and you all. Uh, Willow Wisp and Rattenfanger? <laughs> Rattenfanger? German, huh? So that means tomorrow's opponent will be the Piper of Hamelin, is that right? Huh? You mean that Piper of Hamelin? What are you talking about, kid? Huh? <gasps> Sorry. Well, Mr. Informed, I doubt you know this. The Piper of Hamelin was the name of the community that served a certain demon lord. Demon lord? All told, this demon lord summoned demons from over 200 different grimoires. He led the Grim Grimoire. Believe me, they weren't a community to mess with. But as terrible as they were, they all should have died after they lost that gift game with you-know-who. After the demon lord died, the Piper of Hamelin should have lost its power right along with him. Now, boy, explain to me what Rattenfanger and the Piper of Hamelin have to do with each other. <laughs> You're up. Hurry up and explain it. We ain't got all night, Runt. Uh, sure, okay. I'm sure you're all aware that the story of the Piper of Hamelin is included in Grimm's fairy tales, right? Hamelin is the name of the city where the story that inspired the tale is said to have actually taken place. The following is engraved on a stone monument in the city. In the year of 1284, on the day of St. John and Paul, on the 26th of June, 130 children born in Hamlin were seduced by a piper, dressed in all kinds of colors, and lost at the place of the execution near the Copen. The piper of Hamlin mentioned in Grimm's fairy tales is the Rattenfanger. He is known as the Rat Catcher and controls rats. Rattenfanger can control rats? Rattenfanger! <sighs> it couldn't be. Well, whether or not he is the demon lord of the prophecy, it's more than likely that there are remnants of the Grim Grimoire skulking around here. I'll put people on watch to make sure Sandora does not lose face. But if they fail and the worst happens, then you're on. <laughs> Rattenfanger, the Piper of Hamlin. Could this sweet creature work for the Demon Lord? It's the moment you've been waiting for, folks! I, Black Rabbit, hereby declare that the Duel of the Creators, the main event of the Rise of the Fire Dragons Festival, may officially begin! Black Rabbit is the exclusive judge of thousands and will referee the game. I hope By you're all way, as excited sure. as I am. What gives you the right to bless Black Rabbit's skirt so that you can't see what's going on underneath? That subtlety BS is way beyond outdated. Pity. I thought someone of your strength would appreciate true art when he saw it. Art, huh? Art requires imagination, but true art arouses your sense of mystery and inspires you to seek out that which is forbidden. Yes, the best art is that which exists inside the universe of your own soul. Yes, and the contents of the maiden's skirt is no different. If you saw her panties, the mystery would be solved. All you'd have is vulgar satisfaction. But if I don't see them, then it's art! You're beginning to see the truth, young man. Now, will you share the miracle of art with me? I'd be honored. Hmm. Uh, excuse me? Don't look. They might be contagious. Disgraceful. We're about to watch Kasukabe, and all they can think about is tail. She is. 
is. Oh, well, I know it's a bit much, but I hope some of it will help in your game. You? Are you sure you don't want any support in this competition? The rules say you're allowed to have one partner if you so choose. Don't worry about me. But I'll be fine. Ow! Kick ass, miss! You got this! Our players are entering the arena! Our first player is a real beauty from the no-names Kasukabe U! Kasukabe! You can do it! From the Will-O-Wisp community, Aisha Ignis Bottas! Uh. <laughs> Did you see that? The poor little no-name got knocked on her poor little tushy! <laughs> now, let's have a good hard laugh at her expense. What do you say? Wow, it's really him. You got it. Allow me to present the pride of the Will-O-Wisp community, the famous monster and powerful gift, Jack O'Lantern. You! What are the odds, Izioi? A real live pumpkin monster in the game! I honestly never I can never see it, rich I girl. Remember to breathe. This is so crazy. <laughs> well, aren't you fortunate, little no-name? You have the honor of losing to Aisha on her big day. Aren't you honored? <laughs> huge tree. Thought you'd like it. I wonder what kind of game will they show us? This gift game's name is Underwood Maze. The conditions for victory are that we either make it out before the other opponent, or we destroy our opponent's gift. I know. If you're ready, I hereby declare the gift game finals officially started! Come on, I'll give you a head start. It'd be pretty pathetic of me to take a no-name seriously. Tell me, are you the leader of Will-O-Wisp? Huh? I look like a leader? You're such a flatterer. <laughs> Sadly, I'm not, but I have boundless potential, and someday soon everyone will do exactly as I tell them. Just wait and see. Ah! Did that bitch just leave? Oh, fine, no-name. You want to play it like that? Then I won't hold back. Go forth, Jack. We're hunting this one down like the dog she is. <laughs> Yes, I am the grand gift created by the great demon. 
the malevolent Willow the Ignisfatus that manifested on the border between life and death. I am the Jack-O-Lantern. <laughs> the fire from the will o -Wisp is actually the fire from a demon. <laughs> They're far from a natural scientific phenomenon, but we've worked hard to convince the world that it is so. It's far easier to pile corpses beneath them when they no longer believe. I can see the gas! Aisha is the spirit of the Earth who controls natural gas. When she first came to our community, she was nothing more than a wandering spirit. My master took her in as his daughter. By giving guidance to wandering souls like Aisha, our community grows exponentially in both fame and power. Now come forth, young maiden who holds the phylogenic tree. I am the immortal monster Jack O'Lantern, and my flames burn for you tonight!
They're on their way here. Take care of Shiryasha and the townsfolk. Quickly. But what about you? You can't take them on by yourself. I'm just gonna say hello real quick. It's the polite thing to do! Chasing down that sweet tail. Avatar of the Wesser River. <gasps> Ratten. Rats and the Wesser River and Hamlin. There's only one answer to this. The three of you guys are the demons that were created from the legend of the Piper of Hamlin. After 130 children were sacrificed, the method by which they were murdered turned into a spear in itself. There are many different possibilities within the legend of the Piper, such as the children being spirited away or kidnapped. They include natural disasters as well. One could surmise that the powers you use to warp this wall is formed from that spiritual power of yours, which is based on landslides and landslips. So that means shattering the false legend and making the true legend known is really figuring out the true cause of the incident in Hamlin in order to win. Am I close? <laughs> Here I was thinking you were just some punk. I wasn't expecting you to have brains with your brawn. You've got one thing wrong, though. I'm not the demon lord, just a low-level demon. I see. Then we'd better get the opening act out of the way! <laughs> Not sure. 
but it seems according to the rules of the Gias rolls. I'm not allowed to participate in the game. The Gias rolls. Listen carefully. I want you to tell Black Rabbit what I tell you word for word, understand? First of all, there may be a possibility that the rules of this game were intentionally created to lack any sort of explanation. And if that is the case, there is a possibility the game may be unwinnable. What was that? Secondly, it's very likely this demon lord is part of a new community. I can't say for certain. We understand. Finally, the method used to seal me here was most likely... Okay, that's enough. Huh? My, my. Who would have thought the strongest floor master would be so helpless? <laughs> you bitch! Tell me what you've done with Salamandra! You're in no position to make demands. Now then, I believe you three are in my way. figured out why you've been studying every night. Uh. Uh. You've been preparing for this moment. This chance has been handed to us. Let's make it good and get our name out there, leader. Right. I won't fail. Thank you for cooperating. As referee for the gift game, Pied Piper of Hamlin, I will mediate negotiations as we work towards a resolution. We'll start with the host. Regarding the game in question, would there you say no that... misconduct? Uh, may I accept that as your response? Please remember, Black Rabbit's ears are connected to the Little Garden's core system. 
If you're lying, it will become evident very quickly. Allow me to say this. Our gift game has been suspended on suspicion of misconduct that we did not commit. I trust your floor master understands what I'm saying. If there really was no misconduct, you wish for the game to resume under conditions advantageous to yourself? Don't worry. We'll discuss adding new rules once we've proven our innocence. Understood. Proceed, please. Uh, right! Hey, big guy, what constitutes misconduct or illegality in a game? Well, if there were any issues in this game, they'd start with the seal on Shirayasha. The rules stated that she would participate, but not fight. There must be a stated legal reason for that to take place. But the only thing written was, you must shatter the false legend and make the true legend known. I have received a response from the little garden. There has been no misconduct or illegality in the current game. The seal on Shirayasha was also applied through acceptable means. Uh, now that that's settled, I would like the rules to stay the same. The question I'm more concerned with is what date will the game resume? You want to resume on another day? Honorable Judge Master, what is the maximum amount of time that you can extend the resumption date to? The, the maximum amount of time? Well, I'll have to confirm it, but I believe a month is the maximum time amount of extension. I see. Then see you in a month. Hold, Hold on, on a moment! moment. <clears throat> if I may ask something, it concerns the two sitting beside you. I heard their names are Ratten and Wesser. And the ceramic giant that appeared on the battlefield was Strom. Given their names, I would imagine your name is Pest. The pest? You mean the Black Death? Yes. The greatest pandemic in human history that started during the cold period of the 14th century. Yes, that is me. And your name is? I'm Jen Russell, of the No Names. I shall remember that. But you're too late, Jen Russell. I have already started to incubate my pathogen in a portion of the participants. <sighs> Simply put, the lives of everyone involved are in my hands now. Judge Master, I have strong reason to believe that they intentionally made their game ambiguous. Don't do it, Sandora. Even if she did infect people with her pathogen before the game was suspended, she did not need to inform anyone of that fact. Call them out and you'll just give them another advantage. <sighs> okay, I have another proposal. <sighs> everyone here in Shiryasha, I want you to join us. Pledge yourself to the command of Grim Grimoire Hamlin, and I will spare the other community's lives. <gasps> the red dress girl I captured is pretty nice as well, Master. Can we have her too? <sighs> they have Asuka. In that case, if you include that girl, we can come to a deal on this game. Quite a cheap price in exchange for the lives of all the participants. And you'll kill everyone if we don't agree, is that right? There, you're good to go. Hey, you! I finished treating everyone over there. Where should I go next? Great work, Riri. They seem to be short-handed over there, so see if you can help lighten the workload. Okay! You! Any luck? I searched high and low for this red dress girl of yours, but couldn't find anything. I see. Well, thanks for trying, Aisha. Ugh, don't flatter yourself, no name. I didn't do it for you. <laughs> Someone's not being honest, Aisha. You'd look really nice as a pastry pumpkin head! Anyway, this has gotten pretty out of hand for a demon lord to attack. <laughs> you! I'm sorry. That was... Get a hold of yourself. They need you. I'll be okay. What's wrong with me? you something. Hmm? I hadn't heard of Grim Grimoire Hamlin before today. Was your community formed recently? I'm not obligated to answer that. Well, that's a yes if I ever heard one. Let me guess, you're starving for new members. And that's why you want us and Shirayasha to be a part of your grim little band. 
Do you have a point here? Black Plague symptoms can start to manifest two days after infection. If you are planning to resume the game one month from now, not only will we all probably die, but so will every person who's been in contact with us. Sorry if I'm pointing out the obvious, but death would severely cut back on your recruitment efforts. Then I'll knock down the one month to 20 days. That should leave plenty of people we alive. We will kill anyone who shows symptoms. <gasps> Even if it's Sandora or myself. Anyone showing symptoms will be killed without hesitation. There will be no exceptions. Hey, Black Rabbit. Can the game rules still be altered? Huh? Oh, yes. Then how about we haggle a bit, Black Percher? We'll fix the rules so they prevent suicide and the killing of allies. Your recruits will be safe. But the game takes place in three days. Unacceptable. Fourteen days. Five days. And we'll add Black Rabbit to the list. Huh? Black Rabbit is the Judge Master, so she's unable to participate in the game. But if you allow her to play, you could win a Moon Rabbit for your community. How about it? I'm sure a chance like this comes around once in a lifetime. Ten days. I won't lower it any further. We'll add a time limit to the game. We will resume in a week, and the game will terminate 24 hours after it begins. If we cannot win the game within that time, the game will end with an automatic victory for the host. What do you say? You can't, Jin. Think about this. If your gamble fails, my community takes all. One week is the time we have before people start dying. Any longer than that, and we won't be able to hold up mentally or physically against you. We lose, and you'll have our surrender unconditionally. <laughs> I have a question. Uh, what is it? Even if you are able to remain alive for another week, do you honestly think you can win against me? Yes, I do. I see. Then if that's the case... We'll see you in one week. And once we've defeated you, I shall turn all of you into my playthings. are starting to show symptoms. I see. Everything is going so well, and yet we still can't find her. I take full responsibility, Master. We'll get her soon, along with all of her friends. If only we had Snow White or Cinderella right now, I'd love to play with them. 
I could use these people to act out a comic opera and maybe turn their stories into a lovely little tragedy. Cinderella had that. Overall, it seemed pretty depressing to me, but I guess it had a good sense of humor. Now, Snow White, that's comedy gold. That horrible personality was too ridiculous to believe. You're so <laughs> quiet, Master. Is something troubling you, or did you just feel like standing here and being cute? You know that's not the case, Rat. Now stop annoying me right now. <laughs> Master just praised me! <laughs> no, she didn't, you idiot. Master, I need to talk to you about something important. Starting a gift game as a demon lord has altered your destiny. Soon you'll start to be targeted by a large number of communities. You'll fight and fight and maybe for eons, but eventually you'll die. You think she will? Unfortunately, this is the system by which demon lords must exist in this little garden of gods. Still, never forget that we will always serve by your side with all our hearts. You're a demon lord that carries the name of Grim Grimoire. Without you, there'd be nothing. None of us would have a place to call home. I pledge to serve you till the very end. I see. Isayoi? Hey, what's up, Sleeping Beauty? What are you doing here? I thought you'd be bored just lying there. How you feeling? Good, I guess. Sorry, I'm so useless now. Fess up. You enjoy the catnap. So, how's it going? Do you think we can clear the game? I've got a plan in mind, but I'm still working out the details, and time's running out on us fast. Ratten means rat in German. Strom means storm. Wesser is the Wesser River. Pest is the Black Plague. Kasukabe, do you remember the parallel world intersection theory that Black Rabbit mentioned when we first got here? <laughs> I've been mulling over the basic principle of the theory for a while now, and although different events are happening on parallel timelines, there's a point where they all converge to a single result. This time, that result was the 130 individuals who perished, as mentioned in the inscription at Hamlin. And the main players involved are Wesser, Ratten, Strom, and Pest. The one among them that isn't connected to the death of the children must be the false legend. That makes sense. So, which of them do you think is the fake? Gotta be Pest. The Black Plague will kill for sure, but it takes its sweet time sending you to the grave. The Piper of Hamlin had 130 individuals die within the hours of June 26, 1284. The Black Plague couldn't have racked up a body count like that so quickly. So, all we have to do to win this gift game is take out Pest? But then it overlaps with another of the victory conditions, taking out the Game Master. So we have to go back to the game rules and try to break down the sentence. You must shatter the false legend and make the true legend known. Is there something we can use to meet both terms? The only thing I can think of is the stained glass at Hamlin. Where would we find that? Luckily, that's the easy part. There were decorations with them all over the battlefield. Ah, uh, I see. Unluckily, there's got to be over a hundred of the things out there. Shattering them and going around showing everybody we did it would be a pain in the ass. <laughs> I came here to check up on you and you start snickering? Yes, yeah, sorry. It's just so rare to see you sulk, I couldn't help but laugh. <sighs> if it comes down to it, I'll bring back the head of the worst demon lord there is. By the way, how's Shiro Yasha? She's still sealed up on that balcony, bored to tears. I wonder how they sealed her to begin with. Is there something like that written in the Hamlin inscription? Nah, and it wouldn't work. Yasha's a Buddhist god. Supposedly, to seal her own power of the spirit of the Midnight Sun, she became a servant of Buddha and stripped herself of her own divine status. She gave up her power? That's right. Shira Yasha apparently holds authority over the sun here in the Little Garden. She commands things with the sun attribute and even dictates the sun's operation. Yes, she is the greatest pandemic that affected the human world during the cold period of the 14th century. And the reason why the Black Plague was so widespread was because the sun entered an ice age period and the earth entered a cold period. Isayoi? Aha! Uh, That's the reason they made the rule to seal Shirayasha. In that case, they're... Even if they are the Piper of Hamlin from Grimm's fairy tales, they aren't the real Piper of Hamlin. Just a couple of posers. Nice job, Kasukabe. I'll take care of the rest. You rest up and get better. All right. Have fun out there.
the game has resumed. The stained glass panels that portray the Joker controlling Rax is the false legend. The moment you find one, break it and search again. Come on, people! What's this? It looks like they figured out the riddle. Guess they're not so dumb after all. I don't mind. If it comes down to it, we'll just kill them all and be done with it. I've given divinity to Wesser specifically for that purpose. But why would you choose Wesser? Boo! Silence. Now that they've figured out our riddle, there's no reason for us to hold back. I will activate the Grimoire of Hamlin. Right. Huh. 
So you're the one who solved the riddle after all. Yep. Other than you, the rest are fakes who were added later, modeled after the Black Plague. In the inscription, the Joker who controls the rats, Rattenfanger, doesn't make an appearance. By the time the Joker who controls rats appeared in the Pied Piper legend, it was already the 1500s, during the height of the plague. This means rat who represents rats and pest who represents the plague can be written off. Then Strom, which means storm, is really just another poser in the end. The hill mentioned in the inscription represents the hill that feeds into the Wesser River and symbolizes the children's death in a natural disaster. When you stop and think about it, Strom also points to the Wesser River. Process of elimination. Once you figured that out, you're the only choice left. What's up? Got any corrections for me? No, not at all. You're way too good to be hanging with those no-names. You'll have a much larger field to play on if you join the Demon Lords. Sorry, I'll have to decline. Huh? Being with the Demon Lord sounds fun, but my current goal is even more so. I see. Guess I have no choice. I'll send you to an early grave. That's my line, you pretentious ass! Where have you been hiding all this time, my cute red mouse? I was beginning to think I'd lost my new toy. Rattenfanger was protecting me. So I could beat you, of course. <laughs> ah, so you've finally shown yourself, pretender. <laughs> time to get even. Try it if you think you can. Shatter them! Dean! Destroy them, Strom! of yours has been shut for a while. 
This is boring. What? Stop holding back on me, Wesser. You have something. You have an ace up your sleeve you keep trying to use every time I jump at you. <gasps> I don't like the fact that your eyes keep saying you'll win against me. So go ahead and use it! <sighs> okay. Die, stupid. Tons of fun. But this is the perfect handicap for this fight. <laughs> 
It won't work. You may destroy gifts, but if you can't destroy the stars, you have no chance of beating me! I was overconfident of my abilities, and that led to me being unable to help in a time of crisis. Thus, I yield the final words to this individual. The game with the Demon Lord has ended. Salamander has won! <laughs>
to that day in 1284. It is the one place we can truly rest. Our home. The second homeland that we created. <laughs> yes, I understand you. Remember, I will be here in my own second homeland. Maybe one day we'll meet again. Thank you, Asuka. It is because you are you that we can entrust them to you. The Red Giant of Steel. Dean. And our 131st friend. together for a while. May run. May run? That's right. You are the gnome who has the proper records regarding the Pied Piper of Hamlin. And from this point on, you're a member of the No Names. Yeah! <laughs> Guess that's Thousand Eyes for you. They can't do anything bad. <laughs> Howdy! My roof! How dare you! So, what bad thing are you talking about? It couldn't be the fact that Salamandra invited the Demon Lord to the festival themselves, right? <gasps> Come on, dude. They brought in over a hundred pieces of stained glass mixed in with their art displays. Provided the hosts weren't simply pretending to not notice, it's pretty fishy, huh? A rookie Demon Lord versus a rookie Floor Master. And if Sandora took out that Demon Lord, she'd easily be seen as competent. Sounds like excellent advertising to me. Lucky for you, it seems that only people from Salamandra died this time. If something had happened to one of my friends, not even Sandora would escape my wrath. Sandora is innocent. Everyone knew but her. Even the militia knew what was in store for them. And despite all of it, many of them gave their lives without question. You've come from outside that little garden, so you don't understand. You wouldn't understand what it means to protect your community's flag, name, or honor. <sighs> Do what you must. I won't fight. But please, limit your wrath to just my life. <sighs> well, if the guys who died knew what they were getting into, there's no reason for me to get involved. We're the ones who ended up getting our name out there. Sorry. Wait just a second. We're going to keep bringing it to the Demon Lord's doorsteps. And if, by chance, something terrible happens to our community, I want you to be the first to come running to help us. I'll let you off with that. Yes, I swear on our flag. Turn the land to normal? I can't! You can't? I can't! Sorry, I really didn't mean to get everyone's hopes up so high. Please, don't worry about it! For real, Asuka. We'll just have to try our luck in a different gift game. You're right, of course. I'm sure there's another way to... Hey, Ultra huh? Runt! Ultra Runt? If you had something that could work as fertilizer for the soil, do you think you could break that down? Something like that should fix this land up pronto. Uh -huh. I can! Really? Maybe. <laughs> well, it honestly can't hurt to give it a try. 